Look, look, look here, folks. This is a real talk session about when my house was fully hunted with a lot of demons. And I'm going to say this right here. I'm not here to diss nobody. I'm not here to say um, none of this is real or fake. But this is what I experienced. If you are atheist, um, I don't know what to explain to you. But this is what I experienced in my life. Because I didn't believe none of this paranormal stuff was real coming up as a kid. Because I grew up in a Christian family. And my dad, he was a pastor. And my dad was doing things of the world. He wasn't following the Bible. And he was disobeying the church. And for doing that, our house became under attack. Which I'm going to get into in a minute. And, my, and before this, my father... He had got shot um, cause he, before he became a pastor because he was living in a world of sin. I think he was about 19 years old. He was living in a world of sin. He got popped. And he said God came to him and changed his life. But this story is mo all behind him. It comes all behind him but why our house was under attack. So, all through the years, my daddy was pastoring. He had a family me and my three sisters and we all grew up in a single family home it was a three bedroom single family home just a regular home in a nice community and my dad he was very strict on us because he didn't want us going places like he didn't really want us leaving the yard and i always wonder why my father would never let us leave the yard and i'm gonna tell you the reason behind that because he was out there committing adultery and doing things of the world and he didn't want his kids to see it so he kind of kept us fenced off and you know i always wonder wow day i can't leave the yard and play with my friends go down the yard or whatever and we, you know we was like cage animals or something so one day i got my bicycle and i seen my father on the other side uh smoking sticky icky green and you know i pointed at him i said i'm finna go tell mama and he got up in the truck and got behind me like he was trying to run me over like just running up the truck behind me on my bicycle tire I, I done cut through the field he was like i'm finna i'm finna whoop you when i get back to the house so i didn't ever tell him but anyway let's get to the part of this house <laughs> my dad for some odd reason man he was out there drinking smoking and committing adultery and doing things of the world and like I said, when you're a pastor like that, it does something to the home. And you can bring demons inside of the home doing that type of things, the sin of the world. You don't gave yourself to God, but you can't live two lives. You feel me? You can't live the life of the devil and then trying to live Sunday the life of God. So he always is coming there every midnight, every night, man, eyes bucked. You know, like he done smoke some crack or something, man, and start nutting up and, you know, arguments and arguments every night, man, for some odd reason. Then I start hearing things in that house, like doors slamming on their own. And one night, I remember this, it was a raining night. He came in the house, man, and like I said, eyes buck. Like, I think my daddy was a demon. I, I'm pretty sure it was something inside of him. But he came in there, man, and all of a sudden he started arguing with my moms. And we all arguing and we all trying to figure out why he in here nutting up and acting like an animal or whatever. Then all of a sudden, we heard a snake sound in this attic, up there in the law, up in the attic. And everybody just stopped what they was doing, like, y'all hear that? Even he stopped what he was doing, he, you know what I'm saying? He was like... So, he went up there in the attic, man, and put some sulfur up there and tried to suffer out whatever was up there. But the snake never came out because there wasn't no snake. It was demons. And by him doing that, the Bible speaks of this. But by him doing that, he brought in seven wicked spirits inside of the house. And he steadily just kept on and just steadily just kept on. He brought another seven up in there. There were 14. And then it got so bad, 
he bought another seven up in there, which these demons are more wickeder than the seven that he bought in there before. So, the reason I say this is because I experienced the demon. I was in there asleep one night in my bed. I, can't, I was scared to even go to sleep in my own house because they had faces. They The, the demons manifested their face up on the doors inside of the house. And like you can see the demons done crave their whole face inside of a door. No cap. I'm not lying. The demons, it was seven of them. I counted them. 14 demons and all together was 21 i counted them all up out there over the years there were 21 demons inside of the house they was inside of the doors they was on the walls and their faces were complete ugly and my door my bedroom faced the door that had a demon on it. i'm talking about i mean legit ugly like you just something you don't want to look at when you're trying to go to sleep so I'm in my bed trying to go to sleep, man. I got to look at this ugly demon on this door all night. And sometimes, man, I be looking at the door and it feel like that thing just smiled, like, on the side of the door. Like, it just, just smiled at me. And so I used to put a clothes basket in front of it just not to even look at it. And I was scared to sleep in my own room because one night, man, I heard something walking like a ton of bricks. Walking down the hallway and it jumped on me and choked me. And I couldn't breathe. And then I, uh, my spirit lifted out of my body, and I ran down the hallway calling my mom's name, but some odd reason she couldn't hear me because I was in the spirit room. Because once you leave the body, man, you don't have a voice or nothing. I was screaming my mama's name to the top of a voice. I wasn't walking. I was just moving, like, real fast, man, just moving through thin air, man. Just shoo, shoo, shoo. I was calling her name, and she, ne she never could hear me. I said, Mama, Mama. No answer. And some odd reason, I got back in my body. When I did catch my error, I screamed my mama's name, man. She came in there running. She said, what's wrong? She, I said, Mama, something jumped on me. I couldn't breathe. And so I said, Mama, just sit here with me until I go to sleep because I don't, I don't like this how I'm scared. And, you know, she waited there until I went to sleep. And, you know, I finally fell asleep after that. And my father, man, he uh he never could rest inside of the home because he bought it there. Once you bring the demons inside of your home, you know, saying you bring in wicked or demons, like these demons get stronger and stronger when you out here committing sin of the world and trying to live the word of God. You bring that into your house, it start attacking your family members and everything. And my dad, he was like, he ain't know what to say, man. He never really had an opinion on what was going on. He knew what was going on. Because the demons probably manifested inside of him. Like a couple of them got at him and he was acting all out, raging, coming home, raising hell all day and night. Just complete hell, you know what I'm saying, to the point that. He no longer have his wife no more, you know what I'm saying? They split up. And that's what happened, man. The devil came to destroy his whole family and everybody else. Exactly. And that's weird how these demons manifested themselves on doors. Like, they, they, the whole house was a portal for the demons to come through, man. It's just torment, bro. A lot of people won't believe this story, but... It's not a story, it's facts, man. And everybody be like, I ain't never experienced nothing like that. Of course not, man. I've been around paranormal stuff since I was a kid. I've been I've been witness the paranormal for a long time, man. That's how I know all this stuff real. And I got I got another real talk session. I wanna open up a, a talk session on this channel. So I can tell you all about these things, man for real I believe my daddy was a demon man I sure believe it cause the way his face expression like his eyes were buck like a 50 cent piece like he just got done smoking a big old fat rock of crack man come through the door like a raging bull man raising hell all day 
all night. It never stopped, man. It was like a drum beating on the side of your head. I said, damn, this is my father. He raised this much hell, but he's a pastor. Ain't he supposed to be doing guys' work? But he out here living in the world and bringing all these demons inside our home. I was about eight, seven years old, and I knew what was going on, man. I knew the demons was in there because they was all on the doors. Faces everywhere, man. All in the bathroom, my sister's door, my door. Faces everywhere, man. Evil looking faces. Ugly. Not nothing pretty, man. They're like, look scary, man. Like some stuff you never saw. I'm talking about faces with draw on, look like etchy sketch on the nose and stuff like that. Boy had a had a black man hairline and all that, man. Come on, man. Yeah, the devil had a hairline on the dough, man. Like, that's crazy. You can see the flames in the background when, they, when you can look at the, the demons on the side of the doors and stuff, man. I said, man, this man done turned our house into a hell's porter, bro. All these demons are coming through this mud. Like, yeah, man, we done found us a portal. We're going to go and torment that family because they father is a stupid man. Yes, sir. And that house, my childhood house, it's still standing, you know. Somebody's renting that house out right now as I speak. I don't think the demon's still in there, you know, but that house been blessed since then. But like I said, if you're raising hell and doing things in the world, you will bring that inside of your home and your life. Maybe inside of you. Because you got to be fruitful, you know what I'm saying, um. You gotta be careful out here of doing things and trying to live in the church, but you're still living in the world. That'll be all, folks. I'm out.